hello friends uh, so we are uh, in this uh, in this session we will talk about compression and uh, as compression is a uh, uh, big topic uh, compared to others and it can uh, go above half an hour i will divide into two in the first video i will be talking about uh, uh, theory and then in the second video i will uh, uh, i will explain how uh i will technically explain how it can uh, tune the performance uh, uh the compression it is a wonderful performance tool toolkit and before getting into that uh, what uh, i would like to uh, discuss what type of benefits compression provides so so far we have seen number of reducers uh, spl uh, uh, split size and combiners uh, they typically uh, tune the performance of processing the data whereas compression it tunes both uh, storage as well as processing uh, if, if it is used in a right manner if it is not used in right manner storage wise it will be uh, it will definitely provide you some value because it uses less storage when you compress the data but when processing it can cause some issues so you need to understand uh, compression from uh, both uh, storage perspective as well as uh, from uh, uh, as well as from uh, map reduce perspective so le uh, let me explain you about the compression now so uh, from storage perspective so let us talk about storage first let's take the example of our 2gb file okay and uh, first story uh, in compression there uh, there is a concept of splittable and non-splittable i will explain hypothetically how uh, uh, the difference between uh, uncompressed file non-splittable compressed file and splittable compressed file okay so let's take the example of uh, uncompressed splittable compress and non-splittable compress okay so in case of un uh, uncompressed we have 2gb file and uh, you know that block size is 128 mb okay so uh, uh, there will be 17 blocks so the file size will be 2gb and this is file size and then number of blocks will be 17 okay uh, so storage wise this is the case with uncompressed uh, if the file is not compressed now let's say we we use the algorithm which is splittable uh, uh, i will not get into a lot of details about uh, the algorithms but whenever you want to leverage the compression you need to understand that compression algorithm which you are planning to use is splittable or not so in this case uh, except uh, bzip2 and LZO uh, on a condition, others are all non splittable. Only BZIP2 and LZO are splittable. LZO is only splittable on some condition saying that if it has been indexed as in a pre processing step. So, we will not get into those details. First, you need to determine whether it is a splittable compression or not. Okay, for storage, it might not make much difference, but for processing the data, it, it, it will make the difference. So first let me explain uh, 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 from storage point of view what will be the impact on the storage. Typically splittable compression algorithms uh, the compression rate will be lower than non-splittable compression algorithms. So in this case if you are using a BZIP2 which is a splittable compression uh, if you compare the size of uh, BZIP2 compressed file against the GZIP file which is non-splittable BZIP2 will compress more uh, than gzip so we will take some hypothetical numbers here and we will see how it works so let's say this is compressed this is a hypothetical number uh, just to explain uh, the theory and uh, uh, the rate of compression depends uh, solely on the data and the algorithm i am just explaining the algorithm uh, and, and the compression rate for uh, our 2 gb deck of cards will be significantly different from what i am explaining now 
so in this case let's say uh, from 2 GB it, it got 4x compression which means it might be around 512 MB so file size will be 512 MB here and uh, as I mentioned uh, as, the, as our block size is 128 MB there will be 4 blocks so this is number of blocks and those 4 blocks will be distributed uh, on all the nodes in the cluster so from storage perspective whether you are using uncompressed or compressed uh, the way storage happens is same only difference is the file size will be smaller in uh, when the file is compressed when it comes to non splittable it might get uh, better compression rate than this so the file size might be 256 mb so let's say it got 8x compression it will be 256 mb and there will be only two two blocks okay so if you think about it if you save the file of uncompressed uh, in uncompressed format if you have four nodes in the cluster uh, each node might have four blocks uh, of uh, of this file uh, if it is splittable compression each node will, might have only one and if it is non splittable only two nodes will have one one block so from storage point of view the way it stores whether it is uncompressed or splittable compressed or non splittable compressed um, and the way it stores is same there is no difference in it the only difference is the size uncompressed will be in the actual size of the file splitable compression will be uh, uh, depending upon the algorithm you use it uh, it might compress to a, a, a size to a particular size in this case hypothetically let us assume it is 512 MB and non splitable compression typically will get better compression rate than splitable so in this case let us assume that it is 256 MB and, uh, uh, and then uh, the blocks which are created uh, of these files will be distributed on the cluster uh, as usual. So that is about storage. Now let us talk about processing. So first let us uh, uh, talk about uncompressed format. So our file size is 2 GB, right? So there will be 17 blocks. So when you try to process the data with, uh, uh, let's say block size is 128 MB, split size is 128 MB, and when you try to save the file, uh, number of blocks will be 17. And when you actually try to process the data, number of mappers will be 17. So 17 mappers concurrently can process the data, which you already know. Now let us take the example of splittable compression. Okay, so file size will be uh, uh, hypothetically 512 MB as block size is 128 MB and uh, split size is predefined at 128 MB number of blocks will be 4 and number of mappers will be 4 so yeah, even processing wise uh, uh, the only thing is uh, to process compressed data it might use lesser uh, fewer mappers but the way it process is same depending upon the blocks of the file uh, number of mappers will use and it uh, there is no much difference uh, only difference is uh, 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 the number of resources that will be used to process the data and now if you think about non splittable compression ok uh, we saw that it is 256 MB so storage wise uh, non splittable is the most efficient one and you know that 128 MB e, and block size is predefined at 128 MB and uh, split size is also predefined at 128 MB. So number of blocks is 2 but number of mappers that will be used to process data will be only 1. So the reason is splittable compression cannot determine uh, the boundaries uh, to process the data. Uh, so non splittable compression cannot determine the boundaries to process the data by splitting the file. So that is the reason why it uses only one mapper. Uh, instead of two mappers uh, which it should use in this case. So the caveat of this is in this case it is 256 MB so 
uh, having one mapper to process to 56 uh, megabytes of data might not uh, make much difference but if you think about after compression if the file size is 1 GB uh, and uh, that 1 GB file is uh, spread across 8 different nodes in the cluster and only one mapper try to process the data almost uh, 800 MB of the uh, data has to be transported to uh, uh, to that node where the map is running which might not be good uh, uh, so for that reason yeah, uh, you need to understand this uh, 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 additional uh, uh, potential uh, issue when you try to use the non splitable compression but the advantage of non splitable compression is the compression rate will be much higher whereas the processing will be uh, single threaded uh, unlike uncompressed or splitable compressed file so uh, still we can use non splitable compression for most of the cases uh, we will actually uh, uh, talk about that uh, once we do the demo um, uh, in the next video uh, when to use uh, how to work around uh, to uh, to use non splitable compression format uh, to uh, uh, to use uh, lesser storage footprint and at the same time use desired number of uh, mappers uh, to process the data uh, we will see, we will talk about it uh, talk about it as part of the next video to continue this session so before determining uh, uh, whether to use uh, which uh, so if you want to use compression first you need to understand what all algorithms are available uh, in your cluster and then uh, splittable is the one important aspect which you need to make sure uh, uh, to understand before deciding uh, uh, which uh, algorithm to use if uh, if you use a non splittable algorithm and if your file sizes are extremely larger than uh, your block size uh, then uh, uh, the processing will become single threaded and it can uh, have significant performance issues which can be uh, which you need to understand and uh, uh, you, you can explore how to uh, uh, how to actually uh, define compression as part of your programs in the next uh, a session I will touch base a little bit on that but I will not get into details uh, but uh, uh, you can you can explore what all compression algorithms are available and one more criteria you need to uh, consider when uh, uh, when you use compression is whether uh, you have native implementation or not so native implementation like LZO, LZ4 and Snappy uh, are much better in performance uh, compared to ones uh, which are only Java implemented. For, so, for example, bzip2 is only Java implementation. There is no native implementation. Uh, so, the performance of bzip2 uh, might be uh, might not be as good as uh, performance on uh, other algorithms which uses native implementation. So, this one also another criteria which you need to consider when you use compression. And then uh, you, uh, you again, as we have seen earlier, you can uh, specify comp uh, compression as part of, uh, using the parameters like this, or you can even set in the program. So we will see that uh, in the next session actually when we see the demo. So theoretically, this is it about compression. Uh, it is a uh, very 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 good tool uh, uh, in the in the performance tuning kit and you should consider compression uh, from day one as part of your uh, uh, map reduce projects uh, because it can reduce storage footprint as well as processing uh, uh, resources to uh, to uh, resources that will be used to process your data significantly uh, some uh, some people uh, think that compression uh, means cpu overhead but that is not the case always it is just a myth uh, compression uh, uh, can even uh, uh, use uh, uh, lesser CPU uh, compared to uh, uncompressed data and uh, you just need to understand uh, how it works and you, ne you need to determine uh, uh, and use it in a proper manner. One caveat which I have faced when using compression is if you uh, 
if you use fewer mappers on a compressed data, uh, you can run into out of memory issues uh, because uh, uh, for each JVM we will predefine the memory, and if uh, when when the data is uncompressed, uh, and if the uh, if there uh, there is a, a little bit higher probability to run into out of memory issues than when dealing with uncompressed data. Uh, but I think that was a bug and by by this time it might have already fixed but just be aware that you uh, you might run into out of memory issues if compression is uh, not used properly that being said uh, this is it about the theory of compression in the next video we will see the uh, um, uh, we will see technically how we can use compression and we we will evaluate uh, the performance differences between uh, uncompressed versus splitable compression and non-splitable compression. Uh, thank you.